Hey, JC, just how do you think the offensive line performed in Saturday's scrimmage? Um, I definitely think that we did some good things out there. I think we have, have areas to improve in, and um, yeah, things to build upon. Yeah, I see the chain you sported at uh, SEC yeah. Media Days. You tweeted out a couple days ago, big take, TK. Uh, you've gained some weight this offseason. Uh, what was the importance behind that, and how do you feel you know, at a bigger weight now? Um, I mean, I feel great, honestly. I know I got a great um, strength and conditioning group down there, so I'll put on some muscle. And, um, yeah, like I said, I feel great. So, Did you have to eat more to do that, or how did that work from a nutrition <laughs> uh, standpoint? So it's definitely creatine, glutamine, make sure you're taking what you're supposed to take. And then um, – also, just like understanding, like when you show up in the weight room, show up to give your best effort, and then after you get done, eat, rehydrate, whatever you gotta do. So, yeah. Jason, what have you seen from just T. Ferg, and how has Ferguson really emerged himself as an offensive lineman? Uh, yeah, he's definitely grown over the years. I've known him since my senior year of high school. So just seeing him make the progression and the strides that he needs to do in the run game and the pass game as well, just on and off the field, uh, him taking more time in the film room, understanding what he has to do with his body as far as what he has to eat, uh, drinking all that stuff. So just seeing all that, he's definitely matured as a player. And I know he's ready to go. Just being a return on the offense, was there, have you noticed any expectation of being a leader in the locker room this year? Have guys been coming up to you more? What are some of the challenges of dealing with that role? Uh, it's really not really a challenge. It's more of less of an expectation. Um, the older guys left, obviously. So younger guys got to step up into the role, and I was that younger guy. So just understand that there's going to be guys who are, whether or not they're five stars or not, they're going to be coming in as a freshman looking for somebody to kind of guide them on what they're supposed to do because no one really knows uh, the answer to the test. So um, just being that guy to help them out and give them to the understand, like, hey, this is what you're supposed to do. You want to play, you want to be great. This is the blueprint to it and showing them ways and different outlets to do it. Yeah, what have you seen from uh, Caden and Elijah at left tackle in that competition? Um, both of them are competing. Both of them are doing great things, and they're all just giving it their all each day, going out there, just trying to do better than what they did um, before in their own, own respective rights. So, yeah. Coach Saban's talked a lot about the process of building team, um, like mental toughness through fall camp, pushing through adversity like the weather and those conditions. As a leader on the team, how have you seen the team respond to those challenges and grow during fall camp? Uh, I, I think we grew as as a team, as a unit. Just seeing how the situation happened, it's 105 out there some days, we're in full pass, we're not going to change what we do. So understanding that we're out here, we might as well get something out of it. And um, previously, there was guys in past teams, like just individuals trying to step up and be that voice, but now it's groups as a unit. So the whole defense, before every single team period, the whole defense comes together and rallies together, like, hey, let, like, let's do this, like, let's go. And the whole offense does the same thing. So like, we're all out here, whether it's 105 or not, like we're ready to go every single time. So yeah, we're all rallying together throughout the conditions of what it might be. I was just about to ask you about that heat. As a big guy, yeah. is it harder? And, like, what, what do you do to kind of cope with that? Uh, I mean, it's really whatever you make of it. It's definitely something. But, um, like, I make sure I eat twice before I go out there. So breakfast and lunch. Uh, tonight's a night practice. So I have three meals. Try to get a snack in. Definitely got to hydrate. Different um, fluids going into your body. The right stuff. All that stuff. So just making sure that when you're out there, you're prepared. You can't just go out there on one sandwich for the whole day because you'll die. So, uh, yeah, just making sure you're eating what you're supposed to eat and, you know, filling, filling up your body. Coach Shaben talked about after the scrimmage that offensive line needs to develop more depth. There's kind of a leader, a returner in the offensive line. How is that, that something that you can maybe help with over the next few weeks of fall camp? Um, guys get in a position to be ready to play. Yeah, just talking to the younger guys and whoever whoever else is out there, just understanding that um, guys can go down quickly. Uh, I know there are situations to where, uh, like I use Dallas Turner as an example, um, guys in front of him, like even though Dallas is an amazing player uh, today, before his freshman year, guys went down um, in front of him and he had to step up and he did a great job at that because he was prepared. So just letting younger guys know that like, just because you might not be where you are or where you want to be in that moment, um, you never know what could happen. Guys might not be performing in front of you or they just might get hurt, however it might go. So uh, just always stay prepared, just always be ready to go. Uh, talked earlier about the battle at left tackle. Um, at, when a young guy steps in, at, especially to plays like Alabama, and they play tackle, 
um, against SEC football? What's the hardest part about that transition, or what's the you know the steepest part of the learning curve? Just the maturity, just like a like statement to everybody out there. Like, if you want to step in and play at the University of Alabama, especially as a freshman, like you got to be mature enough to handle it because this isn't high school no more. So if you mess up on the play, they're not going to be like, oh, you're a freshman, you're fresh out of they don't care. So it's like they want you to understand that every play matters. And like we tell guys, like, hey, if you mess up, like you're potentially getting the quarterback lit up. So it's like it's a big deal. Guys on the other team are not taking it easy on you. This is Alabama. They see the A on the chest. They, they're going to come at your neck. So you got to be ready for that. So it takes a different type of maturity to be able to step in to that spotlight as a true freshman and be able to play. So, yeah, it definitely is a maturity aspect for any young guy out there, not just uh, whoever is at left tackle or whatever the case may be. What have you seen from a guy like Amari Nye Black when he's lined up beside you and, and run blocking? How have you seen him progress in that area? Uh, he's definitely physical. Uh, he's great in communication, knows where he's supposed to be at, and he's just a mismatch. He knows how to hit big guys or whatever it might be. He's not shying away from no type of contact. How would you uh, assess where the run blocking of the offensive line is compared to the pass blocking right now? I think we're great in all areas. I don't think there's one area that we're better in than the other. I think we understand, once we understand where the mic point's going to or what we're supposed to do, at that point, the success of the play greatly increases. Uh, going back to the heat, coming from Wisconsin, where you're yeah. from, how hard was it when you first came down south, like transitioning yeah. to that? Uh, I mean, I was born in Meridian, Mississippi. I think it's like an hour and a half west. So I grew up there in the heat a lot. And then obviously being in Wisconsin for a little bit, that definitely changed um, because it was winter up there and you didn't really get that snow in the south. But um, I went to IMG. Uh, my sophomore year, so I was down there for two and a half years. So just being in that heat kind of developed me a little bit to be ready for this because Florida heat's obviously just as bad as Alabama heat. So, circling back to kind of you adding some muscle, is that from the coaches? Is that kind of you personally? What led to that decision? Uh, definitely just me personally. Um, obviously, I'm team oriented player. I want the team to succeed in all aspects, but I understand that my career won't end at Alabama. Uh, there'll be teams down the line once I like leave here that I want to be able to um, add an addition to. And guys like Will Anderson that I'll see again. So I definitely want to come with something else like to my game that I've added, whether it's like getting bigger, stronger, faster, whatever the case may be. You have a kind of a bond with Tyler Booker. How does that help yeah. you guys? And how do you think that gives you guys an advantage on the right side? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's just all about chemistry. I know he's going to be there. Uh, sometimes we don't even have to like say anything. We know where it's going to go. We don't even have to like really necessarily communicate because we're already in sync, just like that. So when we're out there playing, it's just it's all fluid and it's all in one motion. Thanks, Jason. All right, y'all have a nice day.
you're from Mississippi, so I'm sure you're used to the heat, but just how has this camp been in terms of, you know, dealing with 100 degree heat out there and what have you done to kind of, you know, deal with it? Uh, the camp and the heat been real, real good. Uh, that heat's something different, but the reason we're working this heat, just get better every day, just get everybody on the same level. Yeah, hey, Jaheim. Um, just how do you think the defensive line performed in Saturday's scrimmage? Uh, we, we all did good. We, 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 we still working hard, still getting everything ready, prepared. You know, everybody's still on the same level, still working with everybody to make advance and get better every step of the day. Uh, Coach Saban mentioned that you were one of the players having a really, really good camp. Kind of what have been some of the emphasis for you in camp so far? Uh, just making sure everybody – that on the D-line just straight, make sure everybody on defense is straight. Just trying to get everybody on the same level, same page, so we can play at the events that we is. Shaheem, how do you, how do you talk to the, to the younger guys to make sure they're all straight and everybody's on that same level? At the conversations with those young guys? Uh, just make sure everybody know they plays and make sure everybody is lined up, getting the playbook, you know, knowing what they got to do. So we just talked to JC, who put on about 25 pounds, and you obviously had your big weight loss last. What's harder, uh, putting on or losing? Have you guys talked about that and maybe even joked about that? Yeah, to me, harder is gaining weight. It was easy losing the weight, but it's hard to gain the weight back. Coach Saban talked about um, finding depth on the defensive line. Just what have you seen from some of the young guys that are trying to kind of do that for you guys? Oh yeah, all our, all our young guys, all the freshmen are. We all they still working hard. They still learning, developing, getting better every, every each day. Anyone else? Thank you. Thank you. All.